Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, a.k.a. Barnacles, with another video for you. Now, you're probably wondering what you're looking at right here. This is actually the fan shroud that came with my Ultimaker 3D printer. Now, this goes on the print head and directs airflow down at the item from a 40 millimeter fan. And you can see this thing just busts apart. It's just printed from a little piece of plastic that you kind of put together. So I wanted something a little more permanent and cooler. So here you can see the old one on the printer. And, uh, I mean, not really much to look at. So we're going to go ahead and print out a brand new one. So, in this video, we'll have the Ultimaker right here printing out something I downloaded from Thingiverse. And if you want to know where the item's at, I got the URL in the description. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out a new fan shroud. And this fan shroud is designed a lot better. It puts the fan at like a slight angle so that the airflow is actually towards the print head and not flat down at the, at the bottom of the little printer shroud, as you can see on the stock one, which is still on the printer as I'm printing right now. Um... You can see that it's printing stuff in the middle there. That's called a support layer. That actually gets torn away from the item. But any place where you have an overhang when you're printing, uh, especially like in a hollow object, it actually prints the support material. Mm -hmm. And it prints it in such a way that it breaks away really easy. It doesn't bond very well because it's such a thin layer. And uh, so it's slowly going, building everything up. I'm printing this one, I believe, at... Uh, Let's see, I think it was 0.1 millimeter. So I'm actually printing it in a very, very high resolution because I figured oh, I'm putting it on the printer. It'll be on there for a long time. I want it to look good. Also, there's two different models of this printer shroud. This specific printer shroud right here uh, is a clip-on version. This one, just you, you literally just slide it onto the two uh, bolts that protrude out of the bottom of the head there, and you don't have to put any bolts on to hold it. So it lightens the print head, and anything you can do to save weight on the print head is a good thing because now you can improve the accuracy and speed of it. Uh... So looking at what it's doing right now, you can see it's like it's already finished building up the base and making the thick layer. And now it's starting to draw the hollow piece up where it's ultimately going to meet up with the support material. Now, the purpose of the fan here is just to cool the layers so that they're sufficiently cool before the next layer of plastic is laid down. Otherwise, you'll get deformation. So it's a little bit of a dance to get everything configured right. But the Cura software is actually really cool that comes with this printer. You can pretty much say print N number of layers uh, before you actually turn the fan on. You can even say how high the fan's turned on. So you can adjust this thing to print perfectly in just about any environment. So we're just about finished here. You can see it's getting up to the final piece and just a little bit more until it comes to a point to direct that airflow. And we're just about done. And there's the final product. All right, guys, so here's the final product installed. Now the fan's at a slight angle. The airflow is way stronger. I put my hand under it to confirm it. And this has been a very, very successful upgrade. So here you have it, the Ultimaker 3D printer that prints parts to upgrade itself. It's awesome. Well, guys, until next time. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.